Hey Sag, put in your four ones, take a beautiful deep breath in and raise your vibration. Challenge your human, kiss your higher self and let it out. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Sag, I feel like you, you have a transformation in your relationships. I feel like, you know, you just realized in November that some things had to change in relationship with other people. Like I really feel you're putting yourself first this month. And I feel like you're getting over that funk that you've been in. I feel like you know that the tide has changed. Things have shifted. Divine Source, thank you so much for allowing me to channel Sagittarius the Spiritual Guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it really is, you're coming in with that power. You have the beautiful solar eclipse. And when I tell you it's setting you up, it is that big, okay, this is my time now. And, you know, two years ago, you started some things off. Two years ago, there was a huge, huge, huge shift. And the universe was just blessing you. And now... This energy is blessing you big time. Through May, June of 2021. And so I just feel like, you know, the number one relationship is you. I do really feel like you know things had to change and you let some folks go. And Spirit was like, listen, this is a brand new skin I got you in this month. And you're going to feel it by the end of the month. It's like, okay, I have changed. And it's time for me to receive. And so you're letting go of that past pain and just the frustration, just the hardship, the fear, the lack of confidence, just the need to... I feel like you were just like trying to figure it out the past couple of months. But now spirit is like full speed ahead, systems go. So get on out in nature, hug some trees, make sure you're grounded, bring the plants inside, certainly honor your relationship with our ancestors, and pay close attention to your spiritual guidance this month. Because I feel like not only do you have the master plan, but I feel like People are giving to you. The universe is giving back to you because you've planted these seeds. And you know what, Sagittarius? It's time. It's really time for you to receive, for you to be renewed, restored, for you to, for other people to bless you. And I feel like you're so humbled. I feel like you know, you're just like, oh my gosh, why am I being so blessed this month? I feel like that. But I feel like it's because of what you've done for other people. Like Spirit saw you in the quiet of that moment when you weren't telling anybody what you were doing. You were just being there for people. You know, no need to question it. No need to, to look a gift horse in the mouth. Things have shifted in your favor. The energy is changing. You can just expect for that blessing to come in all areas of your life. So even if you're getting a plant, you are, even if you just pick up a stick, just absorb that grounding energy because I feel like that's when you just make it turn into an incense you know you just you just really have this way of transforming that which you touch with your own beautiful passionate energy at the end of the month it's just absolutely amazing I feel like you're the phoenix rising at the end of the month I feel like 
you've got this renewal. Let people support you. Let the help come. Let it in. Your love life. Let's go ahead and let's ask. I feel like in November, Sagittarius, you had to really decide what's in it for me. What is this relationship all about? How can I benefit from it? And if you couldn't really... I feel like you're not going to let people feed off of you. Like you're not going to let yourself be used. And I feel like you have been. Now spirit is like, uh-uh, no more. Uh-uh, let go of that skin. Transform into who you really want to be. Into who you are. So any kind of rockiness, any kind of fear-based energy... Anything less than feeding that faith that you can have the type of family that you truly desire. If you're a single parent, you truly can have that spouse that will absolutely adore your children just as God intended. Will absolutely adore you just as God intended. intended. And... So whatever that past has been like, whatever your past holds as memories that you keep going back to that are not so happy, remember that there's a new romantic cycle beginning for you. And you absolutely can have the picture of family. And the strength, that's really big. Family strength, meaning there is support, there is trust, there is love, unconditional love, there's passion, there's purpose, there's a solid foundation here. So allow your perspective to change. You are definitely in an awakening. So remember, you are half full. And when you get all the way full, that's when your cup runneth over, and that's when you can give some more. But now you're in the receiving season, okay? Did you catch that? So change your perspective. Know that you need to have your hand open to receive the support from the universe. And it's happening quick, very quick. Very quick. So no complaining. There's no, you know, oh, I can't do this. It won't work. And oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no, no. None of that. None of that. Take time out for you. Escape from the, the hustle and bustle of what you've been doing. I know you've been really working on some projects. Sagittarius, the universe sees you. So now you've planted some powerful seeds. Don't stop. But certainly balance out. Your, the areas of your life the best you can. I don't know one successful entrepreneur, some, one successful business owner that agrees that there is a balance, a work-life balance. It doesn't exist. So escape, enjoy time with your partner, enjoy time with your friends, enjoy time on social media, but have a cutoff. Spend that quality time together with your family. The work is going to be there. I feel like, you know, this is a month of transformation for you. This is just a month of, let me get it on paper. Let me get my plan in order. Let me network with the right people. Let me get my structure and go for it. Don't sit there and hesitate the whole month. Plan it, boom. Then by the time... The 14th rolls around, you're ready, boom, to just roll. That's your solar eclipse. You have got to go for it. This is your solar eclipse, okay? Oh, this is such a beautiful energy. And then I feel so strongly, honey, it's the dynamics of your home that are absolutely changing for the better. So accept that 
support that's coming in. You don't have to trust everybody. I know. But you definitely want to know that spirit is blessing you with your prince in shining armor. With your princess. You know, I feel like you just really... Your ship has come in. So remember, you've got to let go of your point B the way you thought it was going to be. And you've got to be open to the expanded version. Because I feel like some things have just happened where you kind of were feeling a little less A little less confident. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Business partners. I feel like you have aligned in November. You found out who are some people you can trust, who you can do business with. You know, uh, trust it go with it because I just feel like you already know that, that that's the right partnership and the energy that's hanging around that's doubting that's confusing that's not you that's not your energy okay it's not your energy I feel like you already know that you're in touch with the right company you're in touch with the right a team, the right plan for your next promotion, the right job search efforts. But when you feel that low-level energy come in, dismiss it from your space because it's not allowed around you. Acknowledge it. I don't mean ignore it. Acknowledge it. Then tell it it has to go. Banish it. In your love life, Receive, 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 okay? Be humbled, but receive. Spend quality time with your partner. You know, just spend time on the phone, on Zoom, or on Duo, whatever other, you know, video software you got that you can just really get to know each other and have that romantic, fresh new start with your committed partner or with the new one that you're dating. But really call out that vision that you have for your family life. And this very well may be also family of origin where you can have that trust and that deepened connection with platonic family. But get out. Get out and walk. Get out and go to the park if you can. Um, just go for your walks. Go for your runs. And let that be very meditative for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Release, let go, let God. Thank you so much. Sad, release, let go, let God. The lesson has been learned. The battle has been won. Stand down. There's no need to fight. You are not a soldier. You're a lover. That, that, the energy is there, honey. You don't have to, you don't have to stress, you don't have to fuss. Um, you've made a decision to go down a specific path. You definitely are focused. You're, you're intent on your purpose, on your calling, for sure. And how you feel about this other person for someone that has another one in your energy field, and your frequency, um, there's just an under... Oh, there's a... There's a willingness to be more open and emotionally available. And I feel like you've made that choice with 
one particular person, and it just may be that you have decided to end the argument, you know, with your significant other. But I do feel like you have decided to just give up that, the fighting, the arguing, the, I gotta have the last word. I have to, um, I've got to stay with a, a, a sinking ship here. None of that. There's someone coming in. There's that, you know, the tower is here, but I feel like it's 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 an it's not so abrupt. I feel like you already expected it. And I feel like many of you it already happened. Like I feel this is a tower of awareness where you're just like, "All right. I've been feeling this tower. I've been feeling this shake up. I've been feeling this difficult breakup." severing of the ties, the letting go for a while. And now that it's here, I knew it was coming. I'm cool with it because I know I'm sitting on gold. I'm sitting on riches. I'm sitting on wealth. I'm sitting on a strong, solid marriage. I'm sitting on true love. I'm sitting on unconditional love. I'm sitting on my children succeeding in school. I'm sitting on me succeeding in school. I mean, you've got the creme de la creme of a family life that people envy. So you've got it. I mean, and, and whoever's single, going forward, you're meeting somebody. So be open. Get yourself out there to be seen. You know, I know you're going to play it it's smart. Um, and then, you know, and don't, you don't need to fear the loss of money, the loss of income, because it's here, but honey, it's being, uh, definitely countered by this abundant energy of, I can work from home and make a, a dog on boatload of money. And I can also hit it in school and turn my skill into a business. This is super big. You're done with the arguing. The crossroads is not an obstacle for you. I feel like the fact that you've made your decision and you've decided to move forward with clarity, with, with confidence, and just with um, just, a, a com just more of an emotional stability. That you're able to say, you know, I love what I do, or I really, I'm happy with my decision to be a card reader because I know I'm psychic. I know that I'm a channel. I keep receiving messages, and I know that I can do it working from home, and I know Nicole has a certified spiritual guidance and angel and oracle card reading program that I'm just going to succeed in. And then I'm just going to be able to use it and get clients and be able to manifest the type of life that I want. And my partner is going to be in agreement. Whether you're meeting that person new or you're renewing your relationship with each other, restoring the hope and the, and the faith that you guys have in the future of your relationship. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're hoping for that, you know, justice will be served. And you're hoping for that ease of it. And for things to go in your favor, and they will. This is absolutely the time for you to, what do you want? What is it that you, woo, that you desire? Oh, my. It's here. The money's here. The stability's here. The security is definitely here. Um, and it's in your favor. The decision that needs to be made, just be careful that you are really holding on to your money, that you're not being frivolous or you're not being, um, you're not being too loose with your money. You're conservative with your money. Um, 
don't be stubborn, you know, be, and don't be too picky. The opportunity is right there. And I don't mean sacrifice your standard or your values, especially in your, in your work. Okay, I'm talking about your work right now. Um, you already knew that you had to withdraw from some relationships, whether it be social media, just eating you up, just sucking your energy dry, okay, just draining you, and or family that just was willing to uh, use you. And that all that negative energy, that toxic energy from those connections, really, I feel, did something to you. And so... When you feel that negative energy, remember, let it go, because it's not yours. I promise you, Sag, it's not yours. You just got caught up in somebody else's funky energy in a train of thought, a narrative. Change your narrative. It's not constructive. It's not fruitful. And be careful about not sharing that with somebody that you trust. Because your human loves that fear-based energy. You're totally not alone. Even when you feel like you are, you're totally not. So remember to love on yourself. Remember, get on out in nature. The answers are coming, so just stay open, toxic-free, and open yourself up to the new business opportunity that's here because what you don't want to do is keep this four cups in reverse the way it is. You want to open yourself up because that opportunity is right under your nose. Like you're in touch with somebody you trust. If they offer you a business opportunity, go for it. Um, because that's going to lead you exactly where you want to go. And this, you've got two choices. You either go for it or you don't, you know. Um, you're going to, you see through. You're so intuitive. You're so psychic. Oh, my gosh. You're so spiritual. Pay attention to the energy that comes over your body. Woo, because I feel it. Oh, my gosh. Do I ever feel it, Sag? I got to scratch my scalp. Mm -mm -mm. Honey, your spirit guides are all over you. My goodness. Appreciate and enjoy the journey. Because you're definitely on the right path here. Um, you've got this amazing fresh start. Keep going. Don't pause and have resentment towards anybody. Your fears are real, but they're fake. Okay? They're real to your human. But they're lies that your human is able to tell herself, his self. And you've got to change your narrative. When you find out that you're lacking the skills to get where you need to go because of the rejection, go back to the drawing board. Go back to your trainer. Go back to your support. Go back to your business partners. Go back to whomever it is, your boss, your manager, your lead. Go back to a coworker. Go back and find out what you need to know. You may be missing training. Go to training. Get the skills that you need. Master it. Because the fears are real, but they're fake. They're unfounded. But your human definitely feels them. So make peace with your fears. So you can go for it and accomplish your big goals. Because they are absolutely here. Let me tell you. They are here. Okay. So just, you got stability here. You Be conservative with your money. Saving. You want to have a lead-in to residual income. Financial security with your self-worth, with your self-respect, with your ability to love what you do. 
and it creates this you co-create the life that you want with spirit and you create this independence from the government from child support from alimony from social security from whatever it is from your job even where you're just like you know I feel that sense of freedom not this ball and chain like you've got it okay so stash some cash just to be on the you know on the safe side But I feel like, you know, you're in complete control about how you how you're how you're allocating your funds. So that business opportunity, you already researched it, you know what it's about. And all you have to do is do it. And it's a great, great thing. Your love life is the bomb. I mean, someone's coming in that is your soulmate, twin flame. You definitely it's in your favor and I feel like they come like out of nowhere for anyone that's single. I feel like, you know, the like it's one of those beautiful love stories that you're not expecting it. Well now you're gonna be expecting it. <laughs> it's like it just happens when you least expect it and when you're focused on your business. So this is beautiful energy for you, Sag. And honey, if I can share with you how we have been blessed in every single area of our life, talk about generational wealth here, talk about business opportunities, oh my gosh, things working in your favor, even when the pandemic hits, oh my gosh, I'm happy to share with you. So click the links down below and let's have a short conversation. If there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here. All right, Sad.